In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a really effective passing concept out of Bunch that I think is really the pinnacle and the foundation um, of, of a Bunch offense. Not even just a Bunch offense, but really any offense in Madden. And I want to talk about it because I think that we're getting to the point in the year where it's really important to return uh, to simplicity if possible. And so I want to show you a simple play out of Gun Bunch that has been good for years and continues to be effective. It will beat man coverage and zone coverage as well. And the play comes to us out of the West Coast playbook. The play is called Deep Corner. And this is one of the best plays from Bunch year in and year out. It's one of the most versatile plays because it contains a lot of really powerful routes. It has a deep in route to the backside receiver. It has a skinny post to the bunch outside bunch receiver and a corner route, one of the best corner routes in the game. And so with just really minor adjustments, you're going to see that we're going to be able to make this play really, really powerful. So the setup for this play is actually fairly simple. Um, but guys, I do want to let you know that I'm releasing a West Coast Bunch Offensive eBook today. If you want to get my full West Coast Bunch Offensive eBook, please make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. We have an entire library of eBooks over there. I think this is going to make our 18th eBook of the Madden 23 season. Uh, we've got two other Bunch eBooks out. We have the Washington Bunch and the Pittsburgh Bunch. And now we're going to be breaking down the uh, West Coast Bunch, which I actually think um, very well could be the best bunch in the game. It's definitely the simplest, uh, the simplest bunch, and I think the easiest bunch to uh, freestyle out of. Okay, so um, what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we're going to streak our outside bunch receiver. And then with our running back, you can do a couple things. I like to motion this outside bunch receiver outside. You could do a couple things with your back. I really like to just wheel the running back. I think the wheel is the best option um, or to block him. That's normally what I like to do. Uh, if you block the running back, you'll pick up 99% of blitzes this year um, with the most recent title update. So that's something else to consider. Our first read on the play, we always want to look to the flat. If we can hit that flat, what we want to do is we want to high ball outside pass lead this flat route. If they are not playing a hard flat on the outside, then we need to throw the flat. We need to trust the flat. If he does not lurk it, we have to throw that and make them respect the fact that we will take our five yards and we will force them to have to, um, to, have to play hard flats. What this does is you'll see here it forces them to play hard flats, and now this corner route becomes wide open in behind this. Now, um, this corner route is such a simple route this year, um, but it is really important in your offense because I think the corner route is arguably the best man and zone beater year in and year out, but especially this year. So you see right here again the corner route against zone. If they're playing hard flats, that's going to be wide open, as you can see. Now, the next uh, coverage that I want to walk you through is just a cover two zone, just to show you a cloud flat. So let's say that they hard flat uh, and they cloud flat, right? A double flat, if you will. Um, you know, this is something that, you know, really good defenses do. They're going to try to double flat to take away your underneath route and your over top route. Well, what you'll see with this play and the way zones work this year, this corner route typically can still get over the top of the cloud. As you see right there, I'm going to freeform that up and outside to kind of clear that from the cloud. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to basically play double Mabel. Now, another little trick of the trade is understanding that most people, if they want their cloud flats to be effective, they, they can't press them this year. Pressed cloud flats are some of the worst zones I've ever seen. Um, and so what you'll see is if I back this guy off, not only a couple things will happen, but if you watch this, you'll see the streak will not get jammed. It allows a clear, um, an easy clear out for him. And he actually played that up until the last little bit. Um, you know, so that's something that you've got to kind of pay attention to um, is if they're doing something like that, then what you might consider is actually leaving this post route. Um, and the reasoning is because this could signal that they are in a, you know, a, a Tampa 2. So if they're in a Tampa 2, then what you can see here is this skinny post will sometimes, you know, basically split the safeties, as you saw right there, splitting the safeties up the seam. 
So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. If you get a um, if you get a lot of cover two consistently, one of my favorite things is to audible to verticals and just motion this guy out so it looks exactly the same. Um, but now we're going to be able to once he uh, gets over the top of that cloud, we can just pass that straight up. And as you can see, this is an easy way to kind of counter um, the cover two. Now, a lot of people have actually shifted uh, to using, you know, some match coverages. I'm going to grab a match defense and show you uh, what this can do for you against match. I do think match is actually really effective against bunch. We actually teach a lot of stuff about match in our Patreon. Uh, but I do want to showcase this route against match because what makes this so good is the fact that I'm going to motion this guy outside now what this is going to do is you're going to see that it's going to leave um it's going to leave this defender one-on-one -on -one, and it's basically just main coverage at that point now speaking of main coverage i did want to quickly address that um because it is a heavy uh man-to-man -man, you know year defensively what you want to take a look at here is this corner route has a really sharp cut to it so it's going to easily get separation and then your tight end flat route is actually pretty good. Um, can be can be pretty good against man. And then the even the the streak on the outside, the streak's probably one of the best routes, you know, this year. Because what a lot of people are going to be doing is, you know, you might play somebody that is going to shade underneath because they're trying to stop these aggressive catches and all that stuff. Well, by having a simple play like this, or even the wheel route to the back, these are simple ways. Um, you know, that you're going to be able to saw there, the circle is wide open. Uh, and of course the in route is going to be wide open as well. So there's a lot of adjusting that they're going to have to do. There's really not a zone in the game they're, without setting zone drops. Um, it's going to be really hard for them to stop this. And even if they do set zone drops, uh, we'll try to showcase that here. Like, let's say they take a, this, let's say they take, um, this safety and they put him into a purple to try to step the corner. Um, most of the time this, this is going to leave other things, but you see that that corner is going to just get right over the top of that curl flat. So that is deep corner guys. It's one of my favorite plays, it's really a simple play. Um, and I do think that it's important, you know, in this year's game to try to keep things simple and um, do what works because it's really actually very difficult to stop it. You know, you want to understand when you're running a play, what is it that the defense has to do to actually defend all of the options that I have on this play? And that's going to help you kind of inform you how you create uh, the rest of your offense. So anyways, that being said, if you want to learn more about the West Coast offense and you want to get my full West Coast offensive ebook, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. And like I said, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates and any new ebooks that release while your membership is active. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.